Aquarius. What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Several. I am back at it again, my dear. Yes, indeed. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October. Because you know in fall, baby, we going to have it all. Yes, indeed. Thank you to everyone who has clicked this video. And to all of y'all that's been like, sharing, and subscribing to Scorpion Red Several. Thank you guys so much for checking me out. Um, you know, as normal, we're going to get into a prayer before we get into the energy. But I just want to just do some new deck announcements because you guys have been amazing with the support. And again, if you guys want to support my channel, if these videos resonate with you, if they've been helping you guys, giving you any type of insight. Of course, the first way that you can support is by liking and sharing for caring okay liking and sharing for caring if you want to book a personal or private reading go ahead and click that about tab you'll see my booking page um or you guys can just contact me directly on instagram which all my contact information is in the about tab and if you want to send me an email my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com okay um you guys have been sending a lot of love through paypal um when these videos resonate and y'all just want to send some love or um, y'all have been also selecting decks and um, sending love and light that way. Um, that's how I got a lot of these decks. You guys have been supporting, just checking out my Amazon wish list and just, you know, sending me love. So I have it set up where it comes to me as a surprise. So I never know when I'm going to come home and there's like some love at my door so thank you guys for just being freaking amazing um so number one we definitely got the crystal unicorn tarot deck here as well as the moonology deck which is brand new and um here we go the moonology deck we will be using this today and i just got the um santa Morte, I believe that's how you say it. The Santa Morte um, Oracle and Tarot card deck. So y'all will be seeing this rolled out around mid-month October. And that deck has become one of my favorites because as y'all know, I'm a Scorpio. We're all about death and re revitalization, um, rebirth. So that deck has been helping me on a personal level um, figure out where I am in my transition from closing out one chapter and going into a new, what I need to do in regards to some self-work and also just acknowledging me for all of the progress that I've been making. Like um, every time I use that deck, like it's giving me confirmations that I'm on the right path. So um, thank you guys for sending all of the love and light because not only have these decks helped me on a personal level, it allows me to use um, these tools of divination to help you. So I greatly appreciate all of the love and support. And again, if you guys um, would like to support my page, if you want to book a personal private reading, all of that information is over on the About tab. So again, I thank you again. Um, I want to start this energy off by doing a little cleansing. You know, you guys have been liking it when I use my singing bowl to just do a little quick cleanse before, you know, we go into the energy. So I'm not going to make it real loud because I know some of you guys be having headphones on at work. So let's just cleanse our energy. Everyone take a deep breath with me. felt good so let's get into the energy because you know Aquarius be leaving them delirious Lord knows okay Lord knows so let's get into this Father God thank you so much for this cleansing energy thank you so much for this uplifted spirit thank you so much for delivering us every day and just you know giving us fresh air to breathe and a beating and thriving heart towards all our will and our blessings father god thank you so much for having us place our footsteps along our path um helping us you know to enjoy love and laugh every day you know and find laughter and joy in every day and everything that we've been doing father god and just being smart learning how to reserve our feelings and our energy when need be and <laughs> 
learning how to shout out and just, you know, feeling blessed, you know, when those times come, Father God. Um, and nothing wrong with just rejoicing and just, you know, being the best that we can be, Father God. So we want to be that uh that canvas, you know, we want to be that canvas, that painting, that, you know, visual picture for other people to show them, you know, regardless of what may come your way, you can always reserve your energy, reserve your spirit um, and give to people that need to be given to and hold back when you need to, you know, and um, so that you can thrive, so that you can heal, so that you can be your best bestest. So, Father God, thank you so much for us being that vivid, live, and a living color picture and example for many. And, you know, most importantly for ourselves, when we look in that mirror, we love what we see, Father God, and we thank you. You know, we don't mean to make these people delirious like that because <laughs> they wonder how the heck we do what we do, but... You know, we just are who we are out here. We're a superstar. You know that? We are a star indeed. Father God, reach down and touch us and give Aquarius guidance today. Give us guidance for the month of October 2019. And thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. You are an amazing God. You are an amazing, faithful, and creative God. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Um, thank you so much for everything that you are yet to do in the future. Um, because we accept in all blessings. We accept in all blessings. Please give us guidance for my Aquariuses. And um, thank you again for all of this positive energy in the past, the present, and future. Please give us guidance for October. All right. So we're going to start off with this Moonology. All right. Father, give us guidance for my Aquarius. Let us know what's going on in this current moon phase in our life. How our energy is being affected by these moon cycles. Yes, God. All right. Huh? Give me guidance. My query is. Oh, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't want to take all that. I guess I will. I guess I will. It says, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. You know, cancer going to provide the answer, baby. Cancer going to give us the answers. Yes, Lord. This is a lot. This is the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. All right. Yes. Okay. I like that. Makes sense. You and your loved ones are safe. And the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Believe in the impossible. The blue moon. This is making sense. This is making sense. Let me lay it down out here like this. And what is this saying? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Treat me nice, please. Yes, God. Okay. All right. And communication is the key. New moon in Gemini. That just said a lot. That just said a lot. So... Not only are you and your family safe and this too shall pass everything that you've been going through that might have been shake, rattling, and rolling you guys for a little bit here. You and your family are safe. Um, this tough cycle has most definitely been approaching an end. Believe in the impossible, but keep that balance in regards to your spirituality and being here practically on this earth. And make sure that you are communicating efficiently um, to the universe so everything that your heart desires can be brought to you. Indeed. Indeed. So, let's get into this, Aquarius. Let's find out what's going on. Because I wasn't aware that it was a tough cycle for y'all. Not at all. Not my Aquarius. Y'all, you know, because y'all always stay cool as a cucumber. Even if it was something going on with y'all, y'all wouldn't let nobody know. Y'all wouldn't let nobody know. Y'all be keeping yourself reserved. Ooh. This is out. Expansion. I don't even know how the hell that flipped out like that. Expansion. It says, spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you are made of. Expansion. Hmm. 
things are coming to fruition for you. Things are coming to fruition for you. That's why the key is communication with this new moon in Gemini. Communication is the key. As you are spreading your wings and you are expanding, you know, and reaching towards your horizons. And all of this, all of the stress, all of the stuff, you know, the hard times are over. Make sure that you're keeping that balance. Continue to manifest, but keep your feet on the ground. You know, keep your feet on the ground. Share your message. And shine your light. Show the world what you were made of. Oh, yeah, y'all definitely overcome. Let's find out what's going on here. It's a, it's a lot of blue. It's like a lot of turquoise. It's a lot, I mean, on this cancer card. Look, the cancer card, the expansion card, the blue moon, okay? The Pisces card, about that balance. And Gemini is all blue. Blue. And you see, I got that kyanite right there. I believe that's how you, what you call it, kyanite. I really do want to say, like, that's your crystal energy right here. Let me go ahead and want y'all look at this beautiful, beautiful specimen right here. I believe this is called kyanite. Y'all might need to get y'all some of this. I'm going to go ahead and sit this right here, right over top of that blue moon. Because I really, like, I feel like that's whatever spiritual properties. I don't know over the top of my head what kyanite is good for. But, um, actually, let me find out. Because I really feel like I need to let you guys know. And I believe I do have information in my phone about what that stone means. If I didn't delete it. Is it in here? Indeed it is. You already know. Hold on. Yeah, blue kyanite. It says they are powerful healing crystals for you to use. The benefit is an ongoing healing of the body and a development of your spiritual and psychic gifts. Um, it does not retain or accumulate negative vibrations of any type. It does not need cleaning other than removal of dust. It's highly beneficial and used to align your chakras. It says this should be done regularly. As issues may occur that you might not have noticed. And these can cause health problems for you. So it's like this stone is, is literally to keep you balanced. And to help you um, call in your spiritual gifts. And to keep your chakras and everything balanced in the line. So that you, you know, I guess won't you know, receive spiritual attack. So no one or, or nothing can throw your vibration off because if you keep this on you, it literally doesn't take in any negative energy at all. So it's keeping yourself balanced and it's keeping yourself clean and, and it doesn't need that much maintenance or care. So if you don't have any blue kyanite, you might want to go ahead and get you some, baby. You might want to get you some. You might want to get you some. So yeah, it's time for expansion. And before we do that, we got to make sure that all of our chakras are aligned, that we are completely balanced so that we can, you know, receive everything. The world, it's, what is going on with all of these cards being flipped over that I ain't even know that was flipped over? We got that world card right there, even though I put it back, but it's definitely saying that you are moving forward and that a chapter in your life is closed and you're going into a new phase into a new stage of your life so let's see give me guidance give me guidance give me guidance for my Aquarius give me guidance for my Aquarius for October okay two of Pentacles three of Pentacles okay Getting our balance grounded in regards to our material possessions. And not only that, you know, Pentacles is about time, most importantly. It's about time and effort. 
you know the two of pentacles you finding out what is most important to you what's most beneficial to you and you finding that balance and that grounding in your life and then the three of pentacles is you putting it to work you putting it to work you educating yourself you grounding yourself and literally getting formal education from a hierarchy of um supreme knowledge you know if that makes any sense so you guys could be studying something you could be the understudy of someone um an apprentice if you will like someone is teaching you something on a high level where you will be able to inherit a title um inherit a business like this could even be someone that you know, y'all have a family business and maybe you had to balance the decision of, you know, do I want to go into the family business or do I want to go out on my own and just get me a regular nine to five? You know, when I already have this thing that is already set up and made for me to take over, but it's like, I got to decide if I want to be the understudy, if I want to put my energy into something that's already self-made and already built. I mean, that's self, yeah, that's self-made by my family or whatever that's already built. And I could just come in on some apprenticeship stuff. And then once my dad or my mom or whoever retire, I'm taking over the family business so I could pass it along through the generations. Or do I want to be self-made and create my own foundation? You know, and you might be going to some masters or something of whatever field it is. And you learning how to create your own, you know, so... A lot of focus on money, a lot of focus on your prosperity, a lot of focus, um, and it has a lot to do with you needing that financial stability, not wasting time, not wasting energy, you know, you guys could be builders, you know, carpenters, um, I'm hearing like y'all are studying law, y'all are studying law. Y'all might be, um, what else am I seeing here? I'm hearing like welding and like someone, um, not sculptures, but it's like, you know how people, they make the, the, they take crystals and then they take the, uh, uh, what is it? What is it? Coiled up copper and stuff. They make, you know, jewelry and stuff like that. Like, I, I see y'all doing that. The emperor. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all are doing something where y'all about to become a boss. Y'all are about to inherit a title. Y'all are expanding in regards to business. And it was a lot of worry about financial security. But you guys are about to inherit a position because of you studying. Like you've been the understudy for a while. What is this? The Ace of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Wands. So I really feel like. there. I, I feel like y'all just in regards to love right now. Your focus isn't love. It's not love. It's your foundation. It's your family. Like I said, your main concern is your family. Your family being solid. Because if you look behind this unicorn, you see she got, you know, the, uh, what is that called? Infinity sign on her back. It's like, I got a lot resting on my back. And there's a lot of emotional turmoil in the background. A lot of emotional turmoil. And this has every damn thing to do with your family, your family security. It's like, listen, regardless of what's going on in my life emotionally, listen, which I don't have time for. I don't have time for that. As above, so below. If I don't get myself balanced and get my mind focused on my prosperity, and, and <laughs> you know, like I said, a balance between spirituality and practicality. I can sit here and pray, pray, pray all day. But if I can't get my emotions balanced, I don't got time for love. 
I have to focus on my family. I got to go to someone that can teach me how to bring this coin in. That can help me reach this success. I don't have time for love right now. You know? I could be sitting up in the clouds, you know, praying about this love situation, hoping that everything comes together. But at the end of the day, I need to keep my feet on the ground in regards to how everything is going to work out in regards to everything else. Because love don't pay no bills. No good sex don't pay no bills. Do you understand what I'm saying? It don't pay no bills. You guys are moving forward. I mean, fast and in a hurry. Towards whatever this in that like this this emperor thing like you guys are determined to be the boss. You guys are determined to expand and spread your wings and touch everything that has your name on it. You know, and you you very much so could be learning the tricks of the trade in regards to your family business. You guys might be learning about a spiritual business. Like I said, you guys might be learning. How to create your own art to make money. Like this is. Alright. And you guys can also be balancing a 9 to 5 job. And doing your own personal endeavors on an emperor level. Where yeah I, I work for you guys. But I'm also learning on the side. How to you know. Uh, make my own jewelry. I got to. I just heard a cooking, a cooking stand, or I don't know what the hell a cooking stand, but, um, like, y'all, y'all might be, uh, y'all might be, like, chefs or something, and trying to figure out, like, those meal plan things, and, like, how to get that up and running, like, how to market it, how to professionally get this shit off the ground and running, you know what I'm saying, look, off the ground and running, y'all don't have time for love right now. If it's not a love in regards to your success in business, you don't have no time for emotional endeavors right now. What is this? Yeah, the star in reverse. Anything that's getting in the way of you being able to balance your hopes, your dreams, and your faith into your life purpose. It's like this right here. Was affecting you being able to see your purpose and your life purpose. Y'all had too much focus on love and not enough focus on your passions that is keeping your heart thriving and make you feel whole. You weren't able to be the star. And you're, you're a fucking star. You understand? You're a boss. But like I said, it was a lot of emotional turmoil going on in the back. And you had to get that shit balanced. And you had to get that shit off your back. You know? So that you can thrive and you can get your foundation in order because once some shit once it started looking like something was affecting your family that's when Aquarius was like uh-uh <laughs> uh-uh baby it's time for me to expand I don't have time for this shit I'm an emperor I'm a boss I'm a star and as long as I sit up here in this fantasy land, worrying about love and what love will make you love, don't pay no motherfucker bills around here. And it's affecting me working in regards to my star potential. I can't do that. I can't do that. I have to passionately move forward and quickly. I mean, this is someone moving fast towards their destiny. Because they're tired of not being the star that they know that they are. They had to get their face back together. They had to get themselves back grounded. You know. They had to get themselves back grounded. You know, it's like someone in their mind living this watery emotional fairy tale when their feet need to be planted on the earth, not up in the cloud. And doing that, y'all see how it affected your family and the stability of your family. And you say, uh-uh, that ain't going to be on me, the Joker. and the I mean, the dark Joker. This is a lack of faith. That's what that star in reverse means, a lack of faith. Yeah, the queen of clubs. Y'all are very popular, but we already know that about Aquarius, right? We already know that about Aquarius, but it's hard not to... 
And, and to, for me, it's hard for me to even think of Aquarius not being the star. Because that's what y'all are. Something, it has something to do with a love situation. Something to do with matters of the heart that, um... I feel like y'all put a lot of y'all heart and your effort into a love situation. And the more and more that you prayed and you worked towards that, the more and more everything else in your life was crumbling around you. And now you got yourself back together. You the queen of the pack. You the one that, listen, you are the people that people have to get shit done. You the queen of the motherfucking crew. Everybody look at you like you that bitch. You understand what I'm saying? You always about that action. You always out in the street, getting into something, having fun. Shit, y'all like this. It's football season. Y'all be into the football shit. You know, like you look, you y'all be shouting more than the men about your football team and stuff like that. Like y'all be in it. But it, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all haven't been yourself lately. Y'all have not been yourself lately. And right now, look, do you see how she's looking at her unicorn like, I don't know where the fuck I've been. I'm back. I'm back. You know, I don't know if you feel her energy up off of this card. It's like she she's exhausted a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's just now... It was, it was wasted energy. I really feel like it was, it was a really dark time. Because she got dark hair and all that. Like, I just, like, it's a lot of, like, if you, what is this? Yeah, the five of clubs. You guys changed your environment. You had to change your environment. You see all the green pastures and everything like that? You guys changed your environment. And look, she dyed her hair. <laughs> she dyed her hair, baby. And she put on light clothes, more revealing clothes. This is this is Capricorn. Oh, Capricorn. Why am I saying Capricorn? Why am I saying Capricorn? This is Aquarius. Do you understand? Shit, y'all might have been dealing with a goddamn Capricorn. But I just got finished doing dealing with Capricorn. So that's probably why I just said that. But literally, look. Oh, and she got a dragon on her arm. Listen. You done picked you up a cute little creature? You guys came out of a dark period. Dark hair. Dark background. Lack of faith. They go the same unicorn. This is the same unicorn in all of these cards. That unicorn was lost by itself. I feel like you abandoned your unicorn. Like the thing that made you you. The thing that made you special Something happened where you didn't believe in that shit no more. It's like you lost your belief. You lost your way. Something happened. Something happened, baby. You found your unicorn, and when you found her, you ain't even look yourself. I think y'all normally keep your hair dyed and shit. Like, you done let all your roots grow out. Your hair all black and stuff like that. Listen, you just like, you all covered up and, you know, like you cover up. Like, I feel like you kept your emotions covered. Like, y'all been extremely quiet. You have not been able to act yourself. You still a queen. You still a queen. But you had to change your environment. You had to change your environment. I'm trying to tell you. Look at these ships. Look at these ships. You see? She got citrine tatted on her booty. <laughs> citrine. Y'all know what citrine is for. It's like literally the gem of joy. The sunshine gem. The gem of happiness. You know? To get that joy flowing through you. You had to get that emotional shit the fuck off your back. You had to get it up off your back and get yourself balanced. You see them rocky boats. You see the deep waves. Like, oh, man, you was getting seasick. It's like you were sick. You were emotionally sick at whatever the fuck was happening. You had to change your environment. You had to change your pace and how you were dealing with people. You went and dyed your hair back blonde. or And that blonde? You went and dyed your hair back blonde. You wouldn't put on your cute little outfits with your belly out and stuff like that. Let your belly breathe and all that stuff like that. Look, you don't want to put you a little reef over your baby, over your unicorn. You wouldn't jazz her up. 
got you a dragon. Look, I'm trying to tell you, like, y'all got y'all fire back. You got your second wind back. You got your energy back. Yes, the five of spades. The ace of hearts. Yes, y'all. The five of spades. That's that dark horse, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. That is that dark horse. This is you cutting somebody or something out of your life. You guys could have been dealing with someone from a foreign country or something. Whenever I see spades, I always think of someone from a foreign country. Somebody got cut out. Someone got cut out. And I, I'm i taking, like, I feel like there might have been some physical violence or something like that. Because whenever I see the five of spades, I think of the five hands. Like someone being smacked into reality. Or maybe that's you smacking yourself into reality. Look, you see? There she go with that dark hair, that dark, you know what I'm saying? Dark forces. It's been a lot of change. It's been a lot of change. It's been a lot of change. And this is possibly... Because this... This is you with the white horse. And this is a dark horse coming towards, look, coming towards you. So there could be someone that you cut out, Aquarius, that might be upset about how you changed your energy with them. But you don't care because you just, and this is about your home too. This is about your home, the Ace of Hearts. This represents like a stable home, a stable and loving home environment. You guys got rid of somebody. Y'all got rid of somebody. Somebody had to leave your home environment for you to feel yourself again. For you to feel yourself again. Hmm. Let me just, I just want to go over real quick. I want to go over real quick those club cards so y'all can um, understand where I'm coming from. Understand where I'm coming from. See, look, the queen of clubs is a businesswoman, is a female, a co-worker, a good advisor, a trusted female friend or a social butterfly. She's active, industrious, reliable, a woman who is well-liked and has a great business sense. She can represent a socially active woman who enjoys clubs, societies, and other social functions. She runs her home efficiently, and she likes to keep busy. She's a hard worker, and she prefers to be an active participant in life. Do you understand? This is who you normally are, but not with that dark hair. Not with that dark, not that, no. No. Something, something sucked your energy out of you like all your hair is like dark that's that's not look at the, the background like of this card like that's not my that's not my Aquarius there's a lot of sadness there she's just now being re that horse was by itself it had lost its owner this horse had lack of faith that he would ever find her again. Something took his owner away from the unicorn. But she found them. She reconnected. She like, baby, I'm not, I, I will never leave you again. I will never let no one take me away from who I am in my path. Ever the fuck again let's go change ourselves back let's get back to where the fuck we was let's get back to regular schedule programming let me give you this in information the five of clubs is a card of action and change a change in a work situation a change in social standards like i said you guys change how y'all were dealing with people y'all changed your environment Okay, it symbolizes the five fingers of the hand. It can represent working with someone's hands, working with your hands, making something, crafting something. It can also denote exercise, physical labor. Like I said, y'all went and got y'all body together. Y'all went and, and, and made a physical change to your appearance. You don't normally let your natural hair grow out. You always keep your hair colored and stuff like that. You like to wear jazzy clothes. Like I said, you 
like to have fun and be out there like you are the life of the fucker party this dark black shit that's not you you being without your unicorn that's not you do you understand what i'm saying it says physical labor and providing the extra effort that is needed to get the job done actual physical activity the need for physical exercise competition a sporting event a job interview good luck you understand but oh <laughs> oh i'm trying to tell you someone don't like the way that you someone don't like someone doesn't like aquarius being at their best it's like y'all got a hater or something like that someone does not like it when you're thriving this person i'm it might be a co-worker or something i feel like this has something to do with work it has to because the three of pentacles you balancing your time in the way that you deal with people i mean like i'm trying to tell you pentacles represent time and effort and labor the five of spades traditionally a card of anger and loss from an older symbolic meaning of a hand holding a knife like someone stabbed you in your back. The five of spades can denote the cutting of someone or someone out of their life. Someone did something cutting. I really do feel like it was someone that y'all thought that y'all could trust and you realized that this motherfucker was a snake and it says something about a co-worker. It also denotes a surgical procedure, a divorce, quitting, leaving, going at it alone, loss, fear, abandonment, loneliness, depression, separation accompanied by pain, grief, sorrows, and tears, the left hand, the left handed, the left path. You're not like them. You're not like them. You're not like them. I, feel, I really feel like someone tried to take your shine. Like someone almost tried to steal your identity. I, I, the Ace of Hearts. Whoever this person is. I want to say this is someone from your job. Yeah. I want to say that this is someone from your job. You were going for a position. An apprenticeship. A high level, a high ranking position. You were already at a high level, a high ranking position. I feel like someone tried to take that from you. The Ace of Hearts, happiness, the home, the resident, family, love, friendship, joy, the source, the start of a romance, a situation within a home base, on surrounding cards, the beginning of an emotional period, positive energy, the soul. This is ever somebody. I st I'm still feeling like this has something to do with a work environment. It has something to do with a work environment. And I really do feel like this work environment, you have to find balance because it was emotionally turbulent. And these people are teaching you how to take this new role, this emperor position. And there was somebody that did not love that shit. They did not like that shit. They, it was unrequited for them. They felt heartbroken. They felt stabbed in the back by your success. It's like, why do they always choose you? Why do they always choose you? And it hears that, listen... That five of spades. Look at this person rushing towards you. Look, look at you chilling. Look at you chilling. You got your dragon. You got... That dragon is your protection, baby. That's your protection. This motherfucker is rushing towards you. Because they don't like the change. They don't like the change. They don't like it. They don't love it. They don't fucking like it. And here you go galloping towards your blessings because it got your name on it people can't take what got your name on it this motherfucker want to take your star hmm give me guidance mm -mm. and it was messing with your emotional security in regards to this place at your job 
And I feel like you all were going home with a lot of grief and like a lot of pain and stuff like that because you were allowing someone else's negative energy at your job affect your home base and your job could, is very much so your home. It's like, man, I've been working here for years. Like I've put in work at this position. I'm not about to just let anybody come in here and just fuck with me passion. You had to regenerate your passion. Y'all were really in like a toxic ass fucking work environment. Y'all were. It says the passion. I trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and in your career. And it's like, you see all the different fabric she got on and shit? Look, this is grounding. This is grounding. And I don't know. You guys could be in the LGBTQ community or something like that. And or you just live loud and in color. This person on this dark horse, they don't know how to be like that. They don't know how to be the star. They don't know how to be the star. I feel like you're very cultured. You have different cloths on from different tribes, different ethnicities. But there you go again with that blonde hair. Like you're, you're not even a natural blonde, but blondes have more fun. And it's like you holding something in this urn. It's like, it's like you inherited some knowledge or you inherited a special gift or like your personality, like you inherited from your ancestors because you are like multicultural or something like that because it's a white girl with like this thick curly hair I ain't saying white people don't have like thick curly kinky hair like that but not like that my nigga nah you mixed it's like it's like it's like either you're mixed of ethnicity or something like that and it's like you it's like <laughs> You love your white side. You love your black side. You love... I mean, it's like... You, you're you loved by everybody because it's like you're so mixed in your culture and stuff like that. You're so mixed in your culture and it's like... <sighs> motherfuckers could not take you. And it's like you can't fake who I am like divine order. Divine order, like God came through and, and changed this shit for real, for real. Because this person, this person, this energy was fucking with your emotions, and it was you were sinking into the darkness because I felt like it was a lot of stress, it was a lot of emotional, and typically Aquarius they don't give their emotions to everything. But it was like, it was only but so much you could take, baby. And it dimmed your light. And God said, oh no. It said everything and how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Karmic balance. Justice. 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 Someone, this person have lost their job. They got cut out. They got cut out of the equation. Because people that really loved you seen how this motherfucker. It was like, I feel like some y'all were being bullied at work. It was affecting you. Like, you weren't even dying. You weren't even keeping up with your hair color or nothing. And people were just like, what the fuck is going on, Aquarius? This dark energy ass motherfucker. Keep like running down on you or something like that. Let me guys. What is this? Career transition. I told you this had something to do with your fucking job. This motherfucker is getting fired. Your life purpose is triggered. It's triggering. And hold on. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. And you know how Aquarius is like. 
when shit is bothering them, they'll just go real quiet and they won't say nothing. And this shit affected your personality so much. Because I'm not saying that y'all are not a fighter. But y'all just don't like drama. Y'all just don't like drama. And I feel like y'all would just... Was it moving along to get along or something like that? It's just like... And I, I really want to say... Someone... Someone... It was people... Excuse me. That loved you very much. I feel like y'all prayed a lot. Y'all prayed a lot. And and this might have something to do. Listen, either you got someone, either you're in a same-sex relationship, and I don't know if you was messing with someone at work or something like that. Um, you know, on a same-sex relationship or something, or uh and you decide that you ain't want to do that no more because it was causing too much drama on the job. And this person had really tried to cause drama on the job. And it's like you very popular. This person couldn't take that. I, I, like they just, they, they, they couldn't take it. Like this is someone that wanted to be you. They wanted to be you or they wanted to... Like dominate and control. And they couldn't have your spot. They couldn't be in your position. They can't be you. And this might have to do with something like with a crush or something. It's like, because this person, the messenger of earth. Like I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all getting the job promotion. Like you're getting a message about a new opportunity for a new beginning like this is most definitely a new job so i don't know if this shit was just too much for you and your horse i feel like your horse came to find you like this horse is your spiritual guide like your passion your faith your your that light energy that that makes you aquarius like you're shining your star you know what i'm saying like they go to the star look you see right at the end of the unicorn, you see the star glimmering, shiny. She said, uh-uh, bitch. Don't you ever leave me again. Let's go to the motherfucker uh, salon and get your hair done. Because this is, this is not what we do. This is what we do. This is what we do. Fuck that job. Fuck whatever that is. Like, And y'all could have very much so, after you inherited a, a new position of power where you're at, or you got balance and you got the fuck up out of there. And you got a new position and this motherfucker is still hating. You know what I'm saying? This person that got fired and you still left that motherfucking job. Like, like, or you just transitioned. But I definitely, you definitely got an offer. It's like no matter what this person has put you through, still you thrived. The death card. Transformation. I'm trying to tell y'all. Transfer goddamn nation. Transformation. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. You would never allow any fuck a body. Anybody. To affect your energy like that. Again like. And I feel like y'all just. I ain't want to fight. Y'all just was quiet. And y'all were just taking that shit. Y'all were just taking that shit. But. God fixed that shit. Because other people fixed it for you. Because that just wasn't you, baby. Listen, the queen of fire in the reverse. And then the hermit. The queen of fire. That, like, y'all were dealing with a Sagittarius. Y'all were dealing with a Sagittarius. It was a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries female. This person didn't like you because you were the star. They liked you in a sexual way. But you don't fuck with people like that. Like you didn't like. You didn't like that person like that. And then they got bitter and resentful. They felt like you stabbed them in the back. They feel like. It's just an evil fucking person. Like they're not happy with their self. They were jealous. Like jealous. And the Queen of Wands is someone that, that they think that they're real beautiful and stuff. But they didn't have shit on you. It's your personality. Like, people loved you 
because you're different. And this motherfucker's like, look at this mixed breed ass bitch. Like, hating. I promise you. I promise you. That shit was causing you so much stress. You were not being your normal self. And in your home environment, it was fucking with you emotionally. Where it was causing conflict in your home. In your, in your home. Because you just wasn't being yourself. Hermit. Like, you just went in your shell. Like, that. that's not... It's one thing for, like, an Aquarius to be reserved and to be quiet because they just don't like drama. Like, no, you went super quiet. I want to say, like, y'all went through, like, a, a mini bout of depression or some shit like that. Y'all went through, like, some depression and, and everybody was like, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Now, I done seen you go with them before. I ain't never seen you the fuck like this. Aquarius, what's going on? And I still feel like y'all didn't want to tell motherfuckers. They had to find out by themselves. And God had to do something because it's like you're not a fighter. Like, you just did, you didn't want to fight. You didn't want this drama. Like, you didn't want this drama. Okay, so give me guidance and love, please. Give me guidance and love. What is this saying? Twin flame, passionate nights. I don't like the twin flame. I mean, I already know how I feel about the twin flame. But you know the twin flame energy is like the runner chaser energy. It's just, like I said, it's just someone that could have felt rejected. It's just someone who felt rejected. It's just someone that felt rejected. It says a message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. You know, this is the same message that just came through on a goddamn Capricorn reading. And in the Capricorn reading, it was somebody that was upset because Capricorn left them behind for someone else. Hmm. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missed. I really do feel like y'all possibly should go and look at the Capricorn reading too because this energy is different but kind of the same because like this is someone that is like depressed like this is someone that's depressed this is someone that went through a depression this is someone that went through a fucking depression they had to find herself again this is someone that got cut out of a situation, possibly a same-sex situation. If it's not a same-sex situation, don't apply that. Only apply what resonates. But this has something to do. Y'all just go and watch. Y'all go and watch Capricorn reading because I think I mistakenly said Capricorn. Mm -mm -mm. All right, give me your spirit number, and then we wrapping this up. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is definitely yeah. Watch Capricorn. Watch that shit. Change again. Adventure. Yeah, this is an adventure. This is a whole different spiritual journey. Like you guys having to rebirth yourself anew. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all, I don't wish a twin flame. I don't wish a twin flame relationship on nobody. Don't run and chase after a motherfucking person. Financial discipline. I'm trying to tell y'all somebody. It was a lot of worry surrounding their family. A lot of worry surrounding their family. And financial security. And the worst part is over. Blue moon. I'm not telling you to don't focus on your hopes and dreams. But you got to be grounded in reality. And what was this last card? 
Communication is the key. Gemini moon. Hmm. What's this last one? New beginnings. Y'all having to start over. Start over. With this hermit card, someone had to do some inner work. Some soul searching. Because you shouldn't let someone else affect you like this. This dark night, this dark horse, whatever this darkness was. I don't know if this is you. I don't know if this is you having lack of faith that you lost your spirit animal. You lost yourself. You know, and you were disconnected from spirit. Then you got back into your queen energy. You remade yourself up. You changed your work environment, how you were working and dealing with people. And you cut people out to regain balance and, and, and love and peace and harmony in your home environment. And your home could be you, your heart, your person, your body. Because clearly there was, a there was an unrequited love. There was an unrequited love. And you had to focus on your work. You had to focus on your work. Because y'all focused so much on this love situation. And it could very much so. Either y'all were chasing someone. Or someone was chasing you. And you changed the way you were dealing with them. And you cut the motherfuckers out. And them bitches is mad. Someone is mad. Someone was mad. Because it's like. They're not the star. I'm the star. But this person had to be ch stop being childish. And, and, and someone had to someone had to mature and wake up. You understand? Someone had to expand. Someone had to grow. Someone had to expand. Someone had to grow. Someone had to get their faith back. They had to get their faith back. And now y'all are going on a new adventure. Y'all are being offered a new life, new job, new blessings, new opportunity. New opportunity. Listen, y'all. Balance. Spiritual and practical practicality. Spiritual and practicality. Believe in the impossible. The end of a tough cycle. And you and your loved ones are safe. So if this was dark energy around you. That was literally sucking all the positivity out of you. Um, God fixed it for you. Because this was affecting you too much. Too much. And I have never. And I mean have never. I've never seen like Aquarius be affected by this by anybody. And that's why I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all keep thinking that twin flame shit is positive. That shit is literally a vehicle of the, of the devil. That's what that shit does to people. That y'all be believing in that twin flame shit. That shit ain't. Listen. For someone to convince y'all that it's okay to wait and chase after someone else that is clearly showing you that they don't want you. That's toxic. I don't understand how anyone is trying to spin that into some positive shit. And then, and then this is the same shit. It's the same shit. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love still fills me with light. I love you. This is like someone. It's like regardless. Regardless. Of this person being cut out. Like they are not willing to let go. Like they are still willing to wait. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> y'all. Um, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to get y'all away from that boat. I'm really trying. It's, there's no love there. So I don't know if this is the Aquarius. That is tripping off this twin flame shit. And the person that they were with moved on. I don't know. Y'all Y'all take it how it fits. With that twin flame shit, I'm trying to tell y'all, a lot, a lot of <laughs> psychiatrists are making a lot of money off of y'all feeding into that negative shit. And I want y'all to wake up. It's time to grow up. 
it's time to leave that shit alone and it's time to move on. Divine order came and changed it all. So even if you didn't want to change, God changed it for you. It ain't there no more. It's not there no more. Okay? Career transition. Whoever this person is, got a new job, a new life. And no matter what type of negative energy this person tries to use against you, it can't touch you. This person has found their light. And they finally found peace and harmony. And being able to regain that structure and that love and that life into their life. So you can't stop their expansion. You can't. You can't. It doesn't matter what you do, what you say. This person is a boss. This person is the emperor. This person is the star. Okay? <sighs> I gotta go. Peace.